right, it's not always champagne and oysters here at the Rose Table. My weekly ritual is to hang out and watch movies all day long on Sunday. And every Halloween, I invite a girlfriend or two over to watch one of my favorite movies, Hocus Pocus, starring national treasure Bette Midler. And how fun is this? My friend Kat is coming over to eat my cauldron queso and watch Hocus Pocus, and she's actually from Salem. What are the odds? I know, how fun. So we're gonna learn how to make my cauldron queso, but I do have to say, this is not technically queso. I'm Texan, and queso is a religion here. But the name just stuck. I've been making this for 15 years, and that's what I call it. Technically, it is a hot cheese and bacon dip in a bread bowl, and it is so good. So let's learn how to make it. We're gonna start with a cup of Greek yogurt. To that, I'm going to add about two cups of gold Colby Jack cheese. Now, you don't wanna get the pre-shredded kind because it's just not as good of a quality. You really want to grate it yourself, makes a huge difference, and when you have so few of ingredients, guys, make sure to get really good ingredients. gonna do that towards the camera, but looked like it was gonna fly all over my kitchen. A bit of a mess. Okay, so we're gonna take a cup of grated Parmesan cheese. I love Parmesan, it's one of my favorite ingredients. Then we're going to take about 12 slices of bacon. You can see I already cooked this nice and crispy. I actually like to cut bacon into lardons before cooking it and then let the pan heat up with the bacon inside. That way the bacon doesn't seize. And this is my cherry wood smoked bacon, the best bacon in the world. You guys gotta try it. I'm gonna toss that right in. Okay. Then I'm gonna take one onion. This is finely chopped, just a nice yellow onion and then one clove of minced garlic. Oh, it smells so good already. And now I'm just gonna chop up some parsley, just, you know, make it a little more witchy, get some green in it, like it has, has some magical powers, like the Sanderson sisters. I don't know about you, but when I hear sisters, it just feels like Halloween to me. Okay. I've always wanted to do that on camera, I'm super excited. going flying. So I also make some other fun Halloween treats and Kat is gonna bring over these delicious little hand pies. Can't even wait to try them and have movie day. We'll probably watch like a Dracula or something too. Halloween movies all day, nice and casual. Do everything you would see the day and I would film in a t-shirt and sweatpants. Gosh, I wish you guys could smell this. Yes. Okay, so you just want it about right here. You don't need to over mix it. You just want to mix it until it comes together. Okay. So now we're gonna take our bread bowl. This is just one huge round loaf. I'll show you how I did that. bread bowl done. I'm just going to spoon in. It's so messy. It's going to overflow a little bit. That's okay. There we go. Just kind of pack it in there. Just spoon this little guy. No cheese left behind. Here we go. I'm just gonna pop this in a 350 degree oven and bake it for one hour. Then I like to serve it with the reserved bread, some crackers, and my favorite's actually celery. And just enjoy with your friends, nice cheesy hot bacon dip cauldron queso.